from the toolbar select this ellipse tool and now draw an ellipse here like this now by pressing shift and alt key on your keyboard draw a circle here now take pen tool and draw a straight line by pressing shift key on your keyboard and make sure you are drawing the straight line at the center of this ellipse similarly draw a straight line here at the center of the circle by pressing shift key now select them and align them horizontal center and now take shape builder tool fill this with color and make a shape here now select those unnecessary things and delete it. Now select it and remove the outline color. Take ellipse tool once again. By pressing shift and alt key on your keyboard, drag it outside and make a circle. Now remove the fill color of the circle and give a outline color here. Select this one and take little bit down by pressing shift key and using down arrow key on your keyboard. Now from the toolbar, take this scissor tool and cut it here. and here as well now select this one and from here increase the stroke and from here choose this width profile now select this one and similarly increase the stroke and select this width profile and now go to a stroke option if you don't find this stroke option then from the window you will find it and here click on dash line and in cap option select round cap corner round join and here give this one zero and here I'll give 20 so give more gap here 25 now select this one and this one by pressing shift key go to object and expand appearance now from the toolbar select this pan tool and here let's draw a curve from here to here again select this curve and from here increase the stroke and this time we'll select this width profile now we need to reverse this direction so from here you'll find the option for the width profile and here is the reverse option is there uh, you can flip it now select this one edit copy edit paste in place and from the width profile select this uniform and make it one enter and change the color for this now select this one edit copy edit paste in place and change the color for this now select it object expand appearance and now select this one by pressing shift key and from the pathfinder option click on minus front similarly select this one and go to object expand appearance now take this pen tool and join from here to here
remove this fill color keep outlines only now select this one this one and this one by pressing shift key now take shape builder tool you can take fill color from here and make a shape here now select it and delete it select this one delete it now take scissor tool and cut this one here and here select it and delete it select it and delete it now select this one increase the stroke select this width profile and from here reverse it now from the stroke option select this round cap this one dash line and instead of 25 give 15 and check now select it go to object and expand appearance now take ellipse tool and here draw a circle take this one to the little bit upward now take pen tool and draw a shape here now select this one and this one and join it by using pen tool draw a leaf here Now select this leaf from the toolbar take this direct selection tool select this anchor point and drag it. Now drag it by pressing alt key and make duplicate and place it here. Now from the toolbar select this reflect tool double click on the reflect tool select vertical and OK. drag it down by pressing shift key on your keyboard and make little bit smaller and take it here now select this one object path offset path and here you can give the offset value and click on preview so reduce the offset value here we need a little gap here click OK and now you can change the offset color select them and arrange it and bring it to front so select this one and by using arrow key take it little bit on the right side now select this one and this one by pressing shift key on your keyboard go to pathfinder option and click on minus front now select them and bring this one here 
and make little bit bigger in shape select it and by pressing shift key drag it down and make little bit smaller in shape and select them drag it by pressing shift key and make bigger in size take this one little bit on the right side now it looks perfect now select them and from the swatches you can change the color so this object is not separated so what we need to do now go to pathfinder first unite it go to object and ungroup it and now you can change the color individually by using text tool write the logo title here now let's save this logo on png transparent so go to file export save for web and here make sure uh, you have chosen png 24 and you marked this transparency now let's save it and give any name and just save it after exporting the transparent image of this logo now go to Photoshop and open your Photoshop so already my Photoshop is open here now go to file open so first I'll go to desktop and from here open this PNG transparent image now go to file and open your mockup and open mockup now here double click now drag your image over the mockup file and place it here ok now drag it by pressing alt key and make little bit bigger in size this much is fine now mark it unmark this background and close it click on yes wait for the mockup to be applied if you don't have this mockup file with you check on description link to download this mockup file now let's check the final result hope you like this tutorial you can like this video and subscribe my channel for more updates